Give me the big lay. 1v2. Oh, I still got it, baby. I still got it, baby. It's just like the old stream. Middle-aged man talks shit to nobody in mid-level zones in 20-year-old game. So everybody in Sod is playing on one mega server now. So apparently they have two-way twisting now. Yeah, big old seal twist, look at that. And I got the Fathom Blade proc even. Yo, yo, what's up YouTube? What's up everybody? Uh, look, we're giving Sod a shot, okay? Apparently people have been saying it's really fun. I got a chance to see some of the Sod devs okay. at TwitchCon. Yeah. I hope Sod is good. I mean, my big thing is like, okay, I'm level 35. I thought that PvP was kind of ass in Sod. Dude, it's Deputy. Dude, it's Deputy from Raid 3, chat. My old like private server guild. Look at this weapon, Plane Breaker of Asgaloth. What the hell is that? Dude, deputy man. So you guys know deputy is the reason why I even got invited to my raid group in the first place because, so here's what happened. Whenever I got started on private servers, I literally arcane elixir, nice. I, I was like fully decked out in all the gear that I, that I needed to raid. And then raid three was a raid in a guild that was just forming and they were literally started a pug. The raid leader for that raid was deputy. And I went to deputy and I'm like, hey man, uh, I know I'm, I'm just a rep paladin, but if you guys have room in your raid, I've been working really hard. I have a lot of this, I have all this gear that I, you know, been working on. Can I join your guys raid? I don't even need gear. I just want to run. I just want to run the, the raid with you guys. He asked the guild leader and the guild leader says, no, we don't want a rep paladin. But they didn't even have 40 people in the raid in the first place. So because they didn't even have 40 people in the raid, Deputy is like, nah, F the guild leader. I'm inviting this guy anyway. We just, we need people to at least run the raid. So he invited me anyway. And that's how the number one rep paladin DPS video was made. Was that was that raid. I recorded it. That's how it happened. Yeah, dude, there's always going to be something cozy about just playing WoW, man. I love this phase. Oh, let me see. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. Astral form. Taking on astral aspect. Wait, what are you doing? Wait. So you're not a moonkin anymore. You just have like a moon moonlight shining on you. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dude, you know what's funny? Whenever they put seal twisting in, I had three different WoW devs message me. And they were like, seal twisting it is in. And I'm like, dude, I quit like six months ago. Why do you wait till now? I was begging you for forever. I'm glad they put it in though. And I'm glad so many people have been having fun playing it, man. There was there were so many people against seal twisting. And I'm like, dude, you guys just don't understand. Once you get it, it's gonna be so fun. And and now people love it. I'm so glad. I watched your seal twisting guide when they put it in Versailles. Thank you for the good guy. Dude, you know I had somebody who works at Riot. So I was I was visiting Riot campus over the summer. Somebody who works at Riot comes up to me and he's like, he says, I watched your paladin guides that you came out with at the beginning of Sod. You know what he told me? He goes, that is the best guide video for any game that I've ever watched. He's like, I watched both of those and I was like taking notes like I was in class. And you know what I said? I said, okay, fine, I'll play League of Legends. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine. Okay, you got me. <laughs> Hi, ass man, yo. Hail. Is this a, is this a role play server anymore? Spinal Reaper, Molten, what the hell is a Molten? I got four piece tonight in BWL. Oh, okay, this guy gets four pieces of tier two in the first night of BWL and people would complain about me getting gear? People complain about S-Fan getting all the loot when this guy gets four pieces of tier two in one night, okay? Are you kidding me? Oh, look at S-Fan. Oh, Guild, may I have a morsel of loot, please? Guild, please Red give me a morsel of loot. Of Here you go, as fan, you earn this as our guild leader and raid leader who brought this community together. Here's a piece of loot. Ah, oh, the streamer privilege! Look at all these peons who just bow to serve the streamer. Freaking random guy gets four piece for nothing. Unbelievable. Just shameless. <laughs> I will soon fulfill my dreaming of Voltaire to Ballad and Grats here. Grats Chato. Unbelievable. I was talking to Pirate Software at TwitchCon. We were talking about if hardcore makes a comeback and I decide to play. We were talking about leveling together, but I think we're gonna play Horde. Cause I was talking to Soda and I'm like, dude, if you're gonna do hardcore, if you wanna do OnlyFangs, 
do Horde. It's, it's way more interesting because we did Alliance last time, plus... For a couple reasons. One, we did Alliance last time, plus, for me, I kind of want to be like a noob. Like, I'll be, a, I'll feel like a noob if I'm playing Horde, and it'll be good, because it's like a brand new experience for me. Yeah, that's the thing. I want to feel like a noob. Like, in vanilla, I've done everything that I would possibly want to do. It's been a rogue arc. What do you guys think I should play? Pirate Software was telling me that he's going to play a mage. I feel like if he's playing a mage, I should, just I should play a mage. Double mage is, is a good, like, good combo. Shaman might be interesting. I think either Orc Shaman or Troll Mage I'd play. I wanna, I wanna do something completely new. I wanna, I wanna feel like a noob. What be on your mind? Zandalarian Emissary. Emissary, may you grant me protection from the Blood Moon. We the Zandalarian Trolls traveled here from distant islands where we cannot ignore the threat that now faces our world. Become immune to Blood Moon PvP and lose all sacks of blood for the Blood Loa. No. It's been playing WoW. Whoa! Oh, it's been playing WoW for once. Oh, oh, turn, 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 turn. Look at this guy. We're dueling. Yeah, shameless. The shamelessness. The absolute shamelessness. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, shameless. Man. Man, I just got back, man. Okay, here we go. Grenade. Right here. Give me the big lay. 1v2. Oh, I still got it, baby. I still got it, baby. sick. I just got the itch lately, man. And I was like talking to some of the sod devs too. It's just like the old stream. Middle-aged man talks shit to nobody in the mid-level zones in 20-year-old game. <laughs> oh, man. Good times, dude. Good times. You know what I thought about doing for hardcore? I thought about making a new build, making a second computer, and remoting into that computer and I play in four by three and it's everything is like 480p. Like I'll start my stream upstairs and then it's like, okay, it's wild time. And then for hardcore, we go down there and it's like shooting streams. And maybe I even use this mic, the, the Vietnam mic. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Good morning, Vietnam. I should just use this mic the whole time. Wait, somebody got an Ash Gandhi? Oh shit. You wanna know what's funny? The Ash Condi is like my signature weapon, even in like my logo, because I had it forever on private servers. And then I never actually got one in Classic, the relaunch. Do Cornwood voice in the mic real quick. Uh, dispatch 316-1041, howdy y'all. It's a mic from the 40s. I found it at a vintage, at a vintage garage sale thing. We streamed. A few Saturdays ago on IRL Saturday. Oh, by the way, speaking of IRL Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, IRL Saturdays will continue with S-Fans Tailgate Tour. S-Fans Tailgate Tour will continue this Saturday at the University of Alabama as they play the Georgia Bulldogs in a bout to see who is the best team in the country. Apparently, Donald Trump is going to be at the game. Is that true? People were saying Donald Trump is going to the Georgia Alabama game. Oh my gosh. Dude, I need to take a make Azeroth great again hat to Alabama. Oh my gosh. If I can get a picture of Donald Trump wearing a make Azeroth great again hat, would be the great, that would be a life achievement. That would, dude, dude, that'd be the, oh, the meme would be complete. That would be it. The meme would peak right then and there. 100% chance he tries to sue you. <laughs> Actually, yeah. He's like, are we getting royalties on this? Dude, I remember whenever I'd work, dude, people would get so mad. And I'd be wearing a Make Azeroth Gradient hat, and people would come and chat, and he's like, what is he wearing? It's like, dude, it's just a meme hat, relax. You know, you know who I'm getting, I'm trying to get for the guest. I'm trying to get Canute. The Canute, the man who just moved to America from Norway, 
to go to an Alabama football game against Georgia in which Donald Trump will be in attendance. If that's not cinema, I don't know what is. <laughs> if that is not cinema, I don't know what is. That's gonna be, that will be the stream to watch on Saturday afternoon. Or Saturday evening, actually. It's because it's a night game. Actually, no, it's still afternoon. Why is Trump going? I have no idea, but I'm like, I just, I, I love it. It's, it's gonna be hilarious. Can I get booed by 80,000 people? <laughs> Probably not at Alabama, Georgia. <laughs> that is as gone as it gets. You know what else kind of has me going for getting the itch to come back to Sod? The fact that they merged all the servers into one mega server. Well met. I want that private server feeling of like the whole community is playing on one server together was kind of sick. That was actually something else that kind of was like, man, like logging in and like I logged in, I was getting like messaged by a bunch of people. Yeah, now everybody can play together. Like it's, it's sick. I remember whenever I got my first weapon, I got a Spinal Reaper on private servers and my whispers, like I was playing on Elysium at the time. I got a Spinal Reaper and when I got that MC weapon, it was just, just spammed. Nonstop people were whispering me congrats on the weapon. It was crazy. Urban Dictionary, Spider-Man butt slap. A meme where one guy dressed as Spider-Man slaps another guy dressed as Spider-Man as seen on YouTube. Note, this meme is usually shown at the expense of S-Fan TV, a Twitch streamer, and a degenerate. He fell for, for it again, that Spider-Man butt slap meme. Why is he so stupid? J-Dog's Rough Riders for life. <laughs> I just like the I just liked how tight knit the community was. You know, everybody's playing on the same server. Like that's sick. Oh, false fruit. Oh my gosh, false fruit. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold. Oh wait, actually no, that's perfect. Here, I will trade you one mystery meat. Thanks a ton, dude. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh shit! We got world buffs. Any OTK stuff on the horizon? You know what I've kind of been thinking about? That mock garage tournament was a damn good time, wasn't it? I wonder if we run it back. No promises, but I'm I'm really, really damn proud of that mock garage tournament. Like that is badass. To have hosted the the biggest tournament in in actually the biggest WoW event in history is kind of badass, especially the fact that it was a classic WoW event. Now, it might not hit the exact same, but I think it would still be pretty damn good. Now, and, and here's the big thing I wanted, and I think this actually turned out good. We had almost no rules, and that was like the thing I was like really, really, really adamant about. And you had a lot of like PvPers, arena players, competitors, like I, I think there's this thing with like, especially retail PvPers, like you, you've done retail PvP for so long that you're, you're always thinking about like stipulations, like, allow this, don't allow this, you know, because this is what happens in arenas, this is what happens in tournaments, and I'm like, bro, this game is so balanced, but you, but people act like it's not, it's so balanced. Stop acting like the game's not balanced. It's not perfect, right? But it's way better than people think it is, but the balance of the game is, is all encompassing. It includes things like, you know, enchants, like uh, alchemy, Hello. your professions, all these different these different yeah, parts yeah. of it, right? If they if they do another classic fresh, like I would want my version of what is like a classic plus is still different than what sod is. Probably less things would be changed, but this is one thing that would absolutely be changed. Is you would have might of stormwind. You would have might of stormwind. Nothing would be um, dispellable. No world buffs would be dispellable. Format is ruined without limits. What can a caster do without twenty protection pots? A caster won the last tournament. What are you talking about? You just you just do the damage through the protection pot and they can't use another one for two minutes. Dude, I do love seeing like people in guild like you see this guy hell yeah by the way, chat? This guy hell yeah, this paladin. I found hell yeah. Hell yeah played a dwarf paladin on Fairlina in classic. And he was guildless playing a protection paladin sitting outside of iron forge just dueling people no guild level 60 and i invited i was like hey man like do you want a guild and he was like sure i guess you know i play prop pound whatever i was like yeah come join our guild right and it's like i don't care if you're prod or whatever like if you're you know if you're cool or whatever like who knows you know maybe maybe you get in a rage you can pick up some prop paladin gear or whatever so hell yeah ended up joining crusade this is unfairly this is like four years ago getting into you know getting into the guild getting into raids and then re-rolling mage because he's like, okay, prop Palin's ass and vanilla. <laughs> but, but 
it's cool, like, these random interactions that I remember having with people, just like out in the open world where these guys were guildless, and then I end up I end up inviting them to the guild, and like just, it's just cool seeing people still here, like people that like I invited How to the guild years you? ago, man, and like they're they're still part of that community, they're still part of the, like that's that's like sick. Like, dude, I'm telling you, I met like 20 of my guildies. There's a YouTube video, uh, S Fan Wow Guild. I met my World of Warcraft guild in real life. Like, here's this video, dude. Oh my gosh, this is a 50 minute video. Like, this was such a cool moment for me at last BlizzCon, man. Such a cool me uh, moment for me. <laughs> Just getting to see all the guildies. I mean, like, every event for me is like 100 miles an hour. Every, 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 like, event for me, every convention is like a million miles an hour, but getting to slow down and pump the brakes at least for a little bit and get to go out to dinner with my guild was like a really special moment for me. I remember that stream of yours? Yeah, that was badass. It was just cool getting to see everybody. True, it shows the MMO online social spirit is still alive and well when they designed for it. That's why I can't stick with retail for longer than a month or two these days. Yeah. Would WoW be complicated for somebody who's never played? Chat, type one if at some point in time you never played WoW before. <laughs> two. Giga Chat. <laughs> Without having to replace gear, it's ridiculous. It's like too long. I don't like it. I, I got one. I want to get gear upgrades. Wait, what the frick? Fell male wristbind of striking? Level 10 blue, three strength, three agility, three stamina bracers? What? What is this? Yeah, level 10 twink. As when min max is leveling, gets on, uses rest of XP and logs off. True, actually. I am not afraid of anything! Oh shit. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bed. Like a fresh baby. <laughs> you know what I think it's time for? YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, everything is S Fan TV. I'll see you guys later. S Fan's Tailgate Tour is coming back. It's the greatest show on television. Make sure you're there Saturday at 3 o'clock Central Time. Saturday, 3 o'clock Central Time, S Fan's Tailgate Tour. Make sure you don't miss it.